Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Some of you have watched my prior bond price calculation video in which we had a bond very similar to this one except that the annual the payments were annual instead of being semi-annual. In other words, they came once a year. And we calculated the bond price using a Texas Instruments BA2 plus calculator. And some of you have asked me, well, what if the payments are semi-annual instead of annual? In other words, what if those payments come twice a year, every six months? Well, I'm going to answer that in this video. But first, I want to say that I believe something great is going to happen for you today. Now, back to the video. As I mentioned, there was a prior bond video that I prepared showing how to calculate the present value, in other words, today's bond price for a bond with very similar terms. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out here where I've linked it. Let's now talk about some of the terms of this bond. So this one, we're going to have a par value of $1,000. This is also known as the face value. In other words, this is the value, the amount of money that you're going to be repaid at the maturity of the bond. So when the bond matures, in this case, at the end of 20 years, the bond will pay you, the bond holder, whoever the bond holder is, the face value, in this case, $1,000. Many bonds are in these $1,000 increments, not all of them, but that's a common increment for some of these bonds. The coupon rate in this case is 5%. That is the uh, amount of interest being paid by the bond. All right, so that's the amount of the payments. And what is going to occur is that when you invest in this bond, it's going to make the coupon payment to you and all the way every time it's due until yield to maturity, until the maturity. And at that time, you'll receive the par value, the face value. In this case, it is semi-annual payments. That means every six months. Semi-annual would mean that every six months you get a payment. And those payments over the course of a year would equal 5% of the face value of the bond. So we're going to calculate that in a moment. And most of you can do that in your head, but I'm going to walk you through the process. Years to maturity, that is how long until the bond matures. In other words, when the bond finally pays off that face value. So in this case, there's 20 years until that payment is due. The whole time, every six months, you'll be getting a semi-annual payment, however, of interest. And finally, the yield to maturity, that is the market rate. That is the rate that the market is looking for for this type of bond. In other words, what type of interest is it that investors are seeking from a bond with this profile? In other words, maybe this is from a corporation with a certain amount of risk, and that is the what the market has decided is the value or the interest rate that should be assigned to this bond. Usually it's the market rate, and it is usually not the same as the coupon rate. The coupon rate is decided when the bond is issued, and that is calculated based on various things or um, things that the the company decides, or if it's a municipality decides that it's going to pay. However, as we know, the market rate of interest floats. The market rate of interest changes all the time. As we know, in at the time of this video, uh, interest rates have been going up. So interest rates have been going up. So this would be an indication you would have a coupon rate of a bond that was issued that might be lower than the actual yield to maturity, which is the market rate. In other words, the market is seeking a higher interest rate than this bond is paying. So we know just from that alone, we should expect that the bond is going to likely be less than the par value. And we're gonna be able to buy it for less than par value because we need to earn 
a higher interest rate than that bond promises. All right, so semi-annual payments, we're going to figure out what the bond price is. I'm going to use my BA2 plus calculator to figure this out, and let's go through the process. So I'm going to turn it on, and remember, the first thing I do with all these, always, always, always clear out the time value of money. It's not enough to hit the CE slash C. You need to clear out the time value of money, and you do that with hitting second, and this CLR TVM, clear that time value of money. Then I like to also clear my work. So I hit second again and I clear CLR WRK, clear my work. And then I, just to make sure I go ahead and hit the CE slash C without hitting the second button, that should clear out all the prior work that's in there. Now we're gonna start entering the information. So, the first thing we need to know is what is the future value. Future value of the bond is its par value. The future value, which is right here, is the par value. In other words, how much is that bond going to be worth at the time of maturity? So I'm going to put in the $1,000. I could put it in as a negative. Uh, because it's going to show either the money in or the money out as a negative. If you put the money out as a negative, the money in will be a positive and vice versa. It's just showing the flow of the money. Um, it would depend on which side of the transaction you're on. Just for ease, I'm just going to put it in as a positive. But you could do it as a negative. So we know that the future value is 1,000. So I type the number first and then I hit the FV button. And you'll see that it says FE equals 1,000. The next thing that we want to do is what are the coupon payments? In other words, what's the payment, PMT? So the payment is going to be equal to the coupon rate times the par value. And that whole thing is going to be divided by two. And the reason we're dividing it by two is it's a semi-annual payment. In other words, you get two payments a year, half the amount. Half the amount of the payment is paid on one date. Six months later, the other you get the other half. So the payment is going to be the coupon rate, in this case, is 5%. And we know that we can write a percentage as a decimal. 0.05. Make sure you get that 0.05. Some people accidentally only move it over one space and it would be the equivalent of 50%. If you don't remember how or need a refresher on how to convert decimals to percentages, I have a video linked up here for you. All right, so we have the 0.05 times the par value. In this case, the par value is 1000 and we're gonna divide by two. So let's take it a step at a time. We have the 0 0.05, and it's okay to enter this, um, even though we've already put in the future value, you can do this. And as long as you don't touch these buttons up here, you're, you're fine. You can go and do this calculation. So it's 0 0.05 times 1,000. The top part is, if you recall, very similar to how we calculated the payments last time with the annual payment. So the annual payment would equal $50, 5% of a thousand. However, they receive two payments a year. Each one is half that amount. So I'm going to divide by two. And that means the payment is $25. That's our payment. $25 one time. And then Six months later, you get the other $25. That's equal to the $50 a year, which is our coupon rate. So I've got the 25 and that's our payment. So I'm going to put that in here, PMT. And because I put the future value as a positive, I'm going to have the payment as a, as a positive as well. In other words, that's money coming to you as the investor. The thousand will come to you. So it's a positive and these payments of 25 will be a positive for you. The next thing we're going to figure out is the N. That's the number of payments or number of periods. In other words, the number of times this interest is compounded. 
and that's going to be we have 20 years to maturity and we know there's two payments a year so we're going to multiply that by the number of payments per year so our n is equal to 40 40 so the number of payments per year times the number of years gives us our n so i'm going to go ahead and type in 40 and our n the last thing that we have to enter is our yield to maturity um, number that again is the market rate and that's going to be our i over y and if you recall last time it, we just put in the 7.5 percent as the interest but in this case since we're getting semi-annual payments we have to take that 7.5 percent and we have to divide it by two because half the interest is is for the first payment and half the interest is for the second payment so we're going to divide it by 2 because it's semi-annual. So 7.5 divided by 2 is our yield to maturity. So again, I'm going to, I can use the calculator, 7.5. And remember, we don't have to put this one in as a decimal. We can just go ahead and the 7.5% interest divided by 2 equals 3.75. And then I hit my I over Y button. And that's our I over Y. So we've put in the payment, we've put in the future value, we've put in the N, and we've put in our yield to maturity. The only thing left to do is to figure out what the present value is. In other words, the price of the bond. So to do that, you can't just hit the PV value button. You have to do another step. By the way, if you are finding this helpful, please, please make a present value of that, that like button. Go ahead and punch that in and it really helps me out and it'll help out other people who are trying to figure this out. So we're gonna hit, before we hit the PV, we have to hit CPT and that stands for compute. And then we hit present value. And that gives us a present value of $743.50. And if we look, it would round to that because we've got a two next to the one. So that is our bond price today. If you found this helpful and you want to see more stuff like this, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell because I'm going to be doing additional videos on this content. So until next time, keep your grade alive and subscribe. Thank you.